Well, now we are coming to the second part of 2015. So this portion here is a fresh new sample. So the same thing is if it's a fresh new sample, always remember to write down what you see and then follow the instruction. This time around, you're going to see something interesting. Now next part, which is the second part, Okay, we are coming to the second part already, yay! Now this part here says add about 1 cm cube of solution P into a clean test tube. Okay, so same thing, 1 cm cube, but this time round is P. Remember to labor. And they say add sodium hydroxide slowly. With shaking until no further change is seen, and add another one cm of sodium hydroxide solution. With shaking this time round, okay, and gently heat. Okay, now every time when sodium hydroxide is heated, actually you are testing on the presence of a cations over here. Okay, but this portion here, if we take a closer look, there is two main part because one portion here is just adding sodium hydroxide. The second part, they actually heat it. Heating of it is actually a test for ammonium. And if there's ammonia gas evolved, ammonium is present. And how do you test for ammonia gas? You use a damp red litmus paper. So these are things that I need to prepare. And like I say just now, remember, right at the side over here, Properly, that what you are testing is cation, and this one is test for ammonium. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, just now this is one cm cube. Okay, and then add sodium hydroxide, and another one cm cube again. So basically, you just keep on adding. All right. So what I will do right now is I will not do any more marking because uh, this all these are just really estimation only. So I'm going to put it here, but I'm going to. Make sure that I have my litmus paper, which is the damp red litmus paper. And I'm going to damp it with litmus paper, uh, with distilled water, okay? And I put it nicely over at the side here. Oops. Drop off. Let me put it nicely over here. Okay, now, uh, I will start this portion first. This portion, we'll do it later, okay? But of course, let's see what they're actually looking for for P. Now, this is P and this is Q. The actual part over here in the last part says that, what would you conclude about the cations presence in solution P and solution Q? So we already know that there are actually two cations that we are looking for. So, ready? Let's begin. So first of all, we'll add a bit of uh, about 1 cm cube of P into here. Okay, so I'm going to take this at P. Okay, just nice. And then they say add sodium hydroxide. So let me prepare my sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is over here. Ah, I can immediately see that it changed to a 30 green precipitate over here. It's a 30 green precipitate. So let me put this back, quickly write down. Upon adding NaOH, a green PPT is observed. Now, a lot of people ask me, is it ease or worse? I feel that it doesn't matter, okay? Because um, you are doing the practical now, presently. So, uh, green PPT is observed. Now, then, of course, the next part, you're supposed to heat this. And then they say, add another further 1 cm cube. So, I'm going to add another further 1 cm cube over here. Okay, now now I'm going to light up my Bunsen burner. Okay, prepare my litmus paper. You will feel that something is burning, uh, you will feel that something is vibrating. As you hold a test tube, you will feel that there's this thing that's vibrating over here at this portion of your hand. So be careful. Now, do not do both at the same time, but what I always advise a student, bring it across over here. Dip your litmus paper inside and wait. 
Now I can see the blue lip, uh, the litmus red litmus paper slowly turning blue. Okay, I can hit some more to have a more obvious uh, reaction. Wow, it's really the whole thing become really really blue color. Okay, so I stop off the Bunsen burner. And then right now, I'm going to uh, write down what I'm going to say. Okay, now when there's a green PPT that's observed, I can immediately conclude that Fe2 plus is present. Actually, I don't have to write this here. I need to write it behind, but never mind to remind myself that what I'm testing off. Okay, and over this portion here. Okay. Uh, green PPT do not dissolve in excess okay gently heat the mixture gas evolve turn then red litmus paper blue so i'm going to write down over here i need you to focus on this word them okay them red litmus paper blue the litmus paper got to be them before you can use it to have a positive reaction now i quickly write down over here because they say you have to write down about the conclusion of p and q so what i'll do is let me adjust this a little bit so that i have space to write and everybody can see okay so i'm going to write over here solution p contains fe2 plus and nh4 plus okay this is the cation that i conclude explain when NaOH is added a green PPT was observed okay when P is heated gas evolve turns then red litmus paper blue okay now last part here okay i have finished this part now in this portion over here they say measure two cm cube or solution p in a 10 cm cube or measuring cylinder this is a measuring cylinder they say uh, take about two cm cube of p so I will write here 2 cm QRP, measure up to 10. Okay, and then from there, you pour another 2 cm cube of the diluted solution into a clean boiling tube, which means that from 10, you reduce to 8. Okay, so that is all this marking written down. All right, and then they go on to say, add about 2 cm cube of solution, sulfuric acid to this solution. So you take out 2 cm cube of the dilute into a boiling tube. Now, boiling tube is obviously the bigger one. Uh, you will estimate, so you will be poured over here. I think it's about here. So I write down P. And then add another 2 cm cube of sulfuric acid. And then we'll add potassium magnate with shaking. And then they say that you will turn a permanent pink color and we call this solution q okay so which also means that after you add all this this hot thing instead of p now will become q so i'm going to write down q okay let's put this back over here okay now and then it goes on to say the second part here add about one cm cube of q into a clean test tube let me adjust the paper Okay, and I take out a test tube, one cm cube of Q, and I will call this part three, part B. Okay, um, and then this is to add aqueous ammonia. I'm going to put this aside over at this part. Okay, so, you know, as you all can see over here. Now, this portion over here, adding aqueous ammonia. Now, it's actually a test for cation. Okay, as everybody will know. So I'm going to write down a, uh, a small note here. But this part here, some of you will be wondering, so Ms. Selena, what are, exactly are they testing? Now, acidify, uh, actually they are acidifying the potassium manganate. And potassium manganate is actually an oxidizing agent. We already know that this is Fe2+. So most likely they are changing it to an Fe3+. Whether it is or not, we don't know. So we have to do and see. So let's get ready and let's execute the entire experiment. Solution P. 
Okay, so let me lower it so that everybody can see. Okay, make up to uh, 10 cm cube of the solution. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to pour some out, okay, up to this portion here. Okay, thank God for the marking. Okay, uh, I exit a little bit, it's okay. I'm just need to put it over here. Then they say add 2CMQ of sulfuric acid. Let me take out sulfuric acid. Good, sulfuric acid is here. Two cm cube. Okay, that's about two cm. Let me add a little bit more. And then they go on to say add acidified pot uh, add potassium manganate. Okay, so, so these are my potassium manganate, purple in color, and I have to add until it become a permanent pink. Add with shaking, add with shaking, add with shaking, add with shaking. Okay, drop by drop, slowly add, they say, slowly add. Almost and a permanent pill pink. Okay, I think this is a pale pink. Very good. And then it goes on to say that you must, and this is my Q array D, all right? So uh, let me put this over here, as you can see, okay? And then this part here, there's so much thing that has been said, but I haven't write it down. Okay, 2 cmq of P into a clean test tube. So when I add this, I should say that solution P is pale yellow, in color upon adding distilled water which is deionized water deionized water is distilled water solution turns a pale yellow solution okay uh, then when 2 cm is added solution remain solution p remain as yellow every segment explain to them what you see okay and then when added uh kmno4 dissolve in solution p solution p upon adding more KMNO4 turn a permanent pale pink color. Okay, now next part. I'm ready to write this part down already. Okay, now this part over here is the one that is the Q that I need to take out so let me take out my Q first so this is my permanent okay so let's pour out some the pill pink okay now they say add aqueous ammonia so let me find my aqueous ammonia yeah this is my aqueous ammonia slowly we're shaking Ah, I see a uh, precipitate forming and it's, red, uh, it's brown precipitate floating all around like a suspension like that. But we don't say suspension, we just need to write down uh, upon adding aqueous ammonia, a brown PPT was observed. So let me write this down. Upon adding aqueous ammonia, a reddish brown PPT was seen. Let me go back to this part and let me explain and finish up this portion. So, solution Q contain Fe3 plus. Why? Because when aqueous 
ammonia was added. Radish brown PPT was observed. Okay, we are finished. So after watching the 2015 GCE O-Level Practical Exam, I'm sure that you can see that I actually dissect the method now. I prepare segment and then immediately finish preparation, I will do the execution. And I will repeat it for the different parts. I felt personally that this is a very effective way. So feel free to leave some comments below. 